Hi friends, Nick of Nicktastic Art. Thank you so much for stopping by the art channel. This evening's piece, I've got a some used colors. So um, if you don't know, I scrape my can or er, scrape my table, and I've got some gorgeous blues and turquoise and just a really nice mix of colors in that hue that I thought, hmm, if I put these together with a little bit of a dark accent and some white, I'm gonna have a beautiful canvas. So we're using those leftover colors to create a brand new piece that stands on its own. Join me on this journey, won't you? All right, guys, we are back. So here are the custom colors that I have got that I'm gonna use a free, for a freestyle. Now I am gonna be adding two specific colors. One of them is Amsterdam's um, Sky Blue Light. And one of them is a Payne's Gray. Now I will be adding white also to that. And I normally, you can see my bottle is a mess. I normally use Artist Loft Soft um, Body, but I've been getting a lot of pop-up cells. And so what I did is I added Amsterdam White in here also. So it's 50-50 Amsterdam White in the Artist Loft White in hopes that this does not happen with this piece. So I'm gonna layer the cup, get the canvas out. I've already got it prepped and we'll get come right back. Okay guys, as you can see, we've got a 24 by 36 inch canvas. I've got two cups here full of paint. I am gonna color block this. I want to use the Payne's Gray and my white to do that. And again, we kind of always talk about what do I mean by color blocking? It means I want to occupy the space with this color as much as possible. So I make it pretty thick because I don't want, I want to have some negative, negative space here basically. Whoop. So we're going to just occupy this. And I'm only going to do two because I'm gonna to wait to see what I need to do down here. We're gonna go ahead and put the color down. So I've got all those colors mixed together that you saw in that um, in the, the area there. And I'm going to go ahead and just get a tool for cleaning this out and also bring my paper towels closer. All right, so we've got a good amount there. I'm actually not worried about that. Um, so I'm going to take the rest of this that's in here over here. And again, I'm not worried about a design or with this, I'm just getting paint on the canvas so we can slide everything around and put my hands in paint because that is what I always do. Okay, so then we're gonna come in the center section here with this one, and again, we're gonna kind of lay that color around so that it can come and start making some really interesting movement. And the same thing here. I'm gonna bring this color all the way through here. And then we're gonna put the excess here. Across. I don't exactly want to interrupt that right there, but I really like what I'm what I've got going on here with this. Okay, so before I get that stretched out, pop these air bubbles all the way on the whole thing. just to get rid of all these air bubbles. See some interesting things already starting to happen. All right, so let's get the, let's get the going. I'm gonna knock this cup off for sure. So we will 
just move you over there. All right. So I'm gonna lift to kind of figure out where is my paint. All right, so I'm gonna shift all of this and then I'm gonna lift it up a little bit to start walking. Okay, lift it up a little bit more and we're gonna start walking it back. And then I'm gonna come right back to that corner because we're gonna go off with that. And then I'm gonna bring it up and back. Okay, we're gonna immediately go down and over to the other corner. And I'm gonna push down. Get that all the way off and then come up and back. I'm gonna immediately go to this side that's closest over here. I hope you guys could still, are we in frame? I will need to check. Almost, yep, we are, okay, good. Um, so this has got a crossbar underneath it. I'm actually gonna leverage that to come down to this corner here. Go all the way off and bring it back. I missed that four corner a little bit. But give me just a minute here. And bring it back. All right, now we're gonna start playing with it for... All right, I think we're gonna tip that direction. Let everything just kind of slide a little bit down and off. things here I see some kind of smudging I knew I had one in the cup somewhere but I couldn't find it and then what I am seeing though is I've got so much non movement on that side um, So I am gonna start pouring the ribbon already off the canvas. Do I have enough in here? And actually, I think I'm gonna bring in some indigo here. Yeah, so I'm gonna bring in some indigo here. And then I will stretch that a little bit more to kind of incorporate it. I do feel like I need to have a, the indigo up here also, or it's not going to be balanced. And I'm just looking to see where I can do that. Okay, we're going to go across here. That's good. Now I'm gonna bring that plethora O colors that I've got here and we're just gonna ribbon across. And I think we're gonna do one more. Are we going all the way? I think we're going all the way right here. Okay. I'm gonna come under here, grab this, come to this side over here. And 
Okay, bringing it back just a little bit. Checking where how much paint movement I've got. I've got to come off this side over there. Back just a little bit more. We're almost there. All right, good. Okay, see this is what I'm talking about. Right here got a little wonky because we stretched more. But the ribbons look better. This part looks better. I'm almost okay with it. But because of this being so predominant, it almost doesn't work with the rest of the piece. We're gonna push this off a little bit more. So we're gonna be coming down to that side. It's the most interesting part about it. I really like that part. But we need to uh, look at the composition as a whole. I'm gonna see if I can take that entire side off that corner over there. Oh yeah, we got a lot of paint on here. Don't worry about all the paint, I do scrape my tables and make the beautiful colors that you're seeing here tonight. These are table scrapes. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. I like that. Okay, so we've got a very large piece that I think is got a really nice movement to it. Definitely reminds me of water. And um, the colors, the dark pieces, the highlights that we've added, I think really kind of work in this piece. We'll bring it closer here. There's a couple areas down here that really work for me. I love the way that this side kind of just escapes a little bit into that corner. Um, the green in the center, or turquoise green, really pops against that dark line that kind of flows through it. And this corner up here is really cute. I like the little bubbles and the way they kind of flow together into the little white ripple. So overall, very happy with this piece. Thanks for stopping by. Find your bliss.